What's going on? What's going on? Hey, it's your boy Skills. How y'all doing? Alright? What's up? Hey, it's Willie Jefferson Jr. I cover video games at the Houston Chronicle. Alright, so we got the end of E3, y'all. So I, I got a chance. As many of you know, I flew out to California. I was actually at E3. Matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? Boom! I'm going to go ahead and show you this right here. This was from the Disney Infinity Party. They hooked the brother up. I got um, Randy. Alright. And I don't think I showed this. I did show it on my Vine. And really you should be following me on Vine if you if you haven't. I show a whole lot of stuff that, like when I was at E3, I was just, boom, just tagging stuff, everything. And then all of a sudden it was like, when I had to wait till I get back, till I got back to the hotel room. But there you go. So you have Lone Ranger and Tonto. And these sets, alright, this right here actually... With that thing in the middle, what it does is it puts your two characters, boom, into this play set. Alright? So, but that's really cool. And actually, these do not hit store shelves until August 18th. But, of course, your boy Skills got hooked up with them, you know, pretty shortly thereafter. Alright? And I'll show you what other stuff I got from E3. Uh, my media badge from the E3 Xbox One reveal. So I got that. And of course, all oh, now these are hot right here. Alright. Also got these. Alright. And these right here are the the Xbox party at the Viv at the Viviana in downtown um, LA. And that's how you got in. So what happened is they checked me off on, and this is funny, it was on a Microsoft um, surface, alright? Two ladies had them, different intervals. So I had one on this arm with my EA badge, alright? And then it was under the my shirt, my suit sleeve. And she said, yes, can I help? I said, yes, Willie Jefferson. So then she did another one. So boom, I got two. But I'm actually keeping these for my kids. I cannot do a giveaway on these. Y'all would flip these on eBay for like 100 bucks, alright? Because they're very rare. They only made, I believe, like maybe 300 of these or so. So it's not that many. If you have one, I mean, it's, it's liquid gold. Alright, and then this is uh, Sat 207 because I was late to it. Who knows, I may have been, been able to get on the floor. Alright, I actually was able to get on the floor as far as the PS4, um, but anyway, Geese and Cacho of the Bay Area News Group, we hooked up and he was like, eh, hey, it's cool, let's sit where we're at. Which is really cool because I was actually sitting directly in front of Michael Patcher. I don't know if y'all are familiar with Michael Patcher, but he actually is the... Um, the video game analyst. I mean, as far as financial analyst, he's he's money. So he was sitting directly behind me. We had had a talk about the Xbox One. He said it was overpriced. I said, hey, you know, it's funny. I was just talking to Geeson right here, and I told him three ninety nine was the sweet spot. Actually, I even have the video when they revealed the price, and I say three ninety nine. This guy in front of me who actually looks like. Dame drops the guy that said, "Oh my goodness!" Oh, he was doing that hamburger, you know, the big, big brother. Well, anyway, and then this right here is another thing, and I didn't actually mean to show y'all all this. It kind of just happened, but and then this right here is my media pass, which I can actually show now, and then my media pass from the Disney Infinity, and lastly my PlayStation wristband. This is what you had to have to get into the event. Alright, but anyway, enough about that. Alright, so my impressions from E3. It's basic. Alright, first one I went to was the Microsoft. The good points. Alright, you had fours of five and they had the rare, I mean the uber rare McLaren. You know, they blew it up at E3. I'm not, I'm not even going to trip. I mean, there was another thing. There was actually a street race between two McLarens. I witnessed it. Um, I, I had just finished taping a vine. I did a panoramic. You can look on my Twitter feed and you'll see it. Right after that, as soon as the light turns green, you know, I hear nothing but rubber. You know, rubber against the pavement. And all of a sudden, both of them take out like bats out of hell. You know, impromptu, impromptu street race. Totally awesome, which I thought was kind of crazy because right, you know, along Figaro, where the convention center is, there are cops, you know, sheriffs, 
LAPD just going back and forth. And I mean, here these two guys are. And I'm pretty sure Don Matrix was like, you know, the, the guy that's over at Microsoft Entertainment was like, hey, you know what? You get you get a ticket, we'll cover it. So, I mean, they had four as a themes on the side, you know, four as a five. So, cray. But anyway, Titanfall looks really, really sick. And of course, Halo. And what's funny is if you watch... My video, which I'm working on, it's a little bit long, so I'm trying to just edit it. I probably have to upload it tomorrow because I need to get some rest. But anyway, you hear me, and I'm like, oh, wow. And, I mean, when you see the hand, and I knew right then it was Halo, and I'm like, I can't say anything because all these people, if I scream out Halo, but the thing is, I'm like, oh, man, there you go. So you hear that on the video. Now... You know, some other things, I mean, the Dead Rising 3 exclusive, Battlefield 4 being first on the Xbox. Cool, but they did not, you know, they went ahead and pressed forward with, hey, you know, use games, we'll play, but you have to pay a fee, always on, online. They did not really even mention the Connect 2, but what really just hurt Microsoft for this E3 was when they mentioned the price, $4.99. I have it on my video when they do it. I say $3.99. You know, a guy in front of me is like, man, please. $4.99, that's right. It proves how much he knows. So, now, Sony. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's just go to Nintendo, all right? So, Nintendo, you know that they're the, they're the bomb place as far as first-party titles. And they did a real good job with it. I mean... They're really, really pushing hard on the 3DS as far as the Wii U goes. I'm really excited about seeing that new um, 3D Mario, the Mario Kart, of course, the Nintendo Party World. I mean, that's going to be hot. And also, the I think it's the Wonderful One, I believe, and Legend of Zelda. I mean, with, with the, the kind of blocky shading and everything, but I mean, it looks really good. I mean, all of them, they're going to sell boatloads, and it's going to have people, especially... You know, with the way that Microsoft's going, always being online, you know, these used discs, you know, used discs not being able to play unless you pay a fee. Nintendo Wii, I mean, they're like, hey, you know what? What they could do as far as their marketing, I mean, just really stress. You can use your Wii game, game accessories on the Wii U. That's money right there. Now, still, I don't know if they're going to come down on the price. They may hit $2.99, closer to the holidays. That's what I speculate. But, here's the other thing, alright? The Wii U has not had any just really, I mean, just firecracker titles. So, Nintendo, you know, they, they had a little, little something. I actually got a chance to tour the area on Sunday. You know, it looked nice. I mean, they had a lounge for journalists to just sit down and play with the um, 3D, 3DS, XLs, and have some Wii U set up and everything. But, you know, it's kind of meant. I mean, we already know, hey, the Wii U's here. The titles are the bomb. They're cool. Now, let's talk about Sony. Sony? Psh, Sony. All right. I mean, it was just bananas getting in there. Had a really, really nice food truck. Food truck. I mean, just wagon train. I mean, at least 20 food trucks out there. All type of food. It was a bomb. Um, PlayStation themed water. I should have grabbed a couple. I did not. Forgot about it. But when they said, you know, they showed a lot of things. Watch Dogs look great on there. Um, the Sorcerer, I'm really, really interested in that. Of course, you know, Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo 5. I mean, seriously, you already knew. But the one thing, I mean, Killzone looked nice. You know, they showed Destiny on there. That looked really cool. They had the problems and everything. As far as the audio with, I think it was Assassin's Creed, yep, Assassin's Creed, and also the, what was the other one? Just had me rolling. I mean, and also Microsoft had it as well. But when they announced $3.99 and then they started taking shots directly at Microsoft, I said immediately, right, right then, I turned around to Patcher, you know, gave him the fist bump, Michael Patcher, and I was like, hey, you know what? Great minds think alike because I was saying they have to they have to come in under Microsoft and that's exactly what they did and honestly I mean that really is just a game changer in a lot of people's minds because with Microsoft 4.99 plus any other other 
the, the, the used game thing. I mean, you're not going to be able to play used games on it without paying a fee. That alone is going to just save tons of frustration for Sony. And I, I truly believe that Sony was going to do that to start off with. But when they saw the intense fan, you know, rejection of that and just really just listen for the first time and listen to it because they're like, hey, you know what? When the PS3 released, we should have been out of the gate. We weren't. And we didn't listen to fans. On this one, they really did listen to what Microsoft fans were saying about the new Xbox. Hey, we don't want that. We do not want to have to go online. We do not want to have to pay to play a used game. And guess what? That was when you saw that graphic that came up. Boom. Showed all of it. Everything. So, yes, you'll be able to play it on your friend's system and everything. I mean, shots fired, Microsoft. Shots fired. Seriously. So, who won E3? You already know. Sony. Hands down. I mean, second was Nintendo. I know, I know you're like, I don't, skills, I don't believe this. You're a Microsoft fanboy. No, I'm not. Do I have bias toward Microsoft? You know what? I like a whole lot of things that they're doing with the 360. Seriously. But, I'm, first of all, I'm a gamer. Even before I was a journalist, I'm a gamer. And I'm telling you right now, just looking at everything as it is, if Microsoft does not change course, I'm telling you right now, coming out of the gate, the PS4 is going to just whoop the, the living snot out of the Microsoft Xbox One. I'm telling you. I'm seriously, you know. And there's some other things. Now, I'm not saying that the PS4 is perfect. And I'm actually coming back with another video that no one's talking about. No one's talking about this, all right? And I heard it at the conference, I heard it, and it just, in and out, just like that. They didn't even want to touch it, but I'm coming right back. All right, so anyway, you know, it's your boy Skills. Hey, all the information right below there. Boom, click the ad, you're good to go. All right, anyway, it's your boy Skills. So the winner of E3 2013, Sony. All right, by a country mile. I'm serious. There wasn't even no comparison to Nintendo. I mean, what the Nintendo did... More the same. They know it's successful. They're going back to their roots. They're not even worried, really, about trying to embrace and get hardcore gamers. They're going back to the casuals. They know that's where the money is for them. All right. So, anyway, it's your boy Skills coming right back at you. Talk to you later. Deuces.